Welcome to your daily guidance. We're going to pull an earth card for the masculines right now. Ooh, volcano volatility. You might be getting mad today. All right, let's check out for the feminines. Ceremony or invocation. They're wanting to make something happen. They're invoking something, invoking magic or visualizing or doing the law of attraction or something to try to help something along. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. They're both earthy cards. Huh, I think she's anchoring his volatility. Ooh, you know what I just noticed in this card for the first time? There's a face in the clouds. There's a couple of, there's there's like, there are some lovers, it looks like. Or it actually kind of looks like, kind of looks like a mom and a baby or something, right? Maybe something's really ticking him off about, you know, like maybe he's feeling protective of his family or something. And she's trying to also help with the situation by doing whatever she can to help protect as well. Um, interesting. Okay, I feel drawn to these Mermaid and Dolphins cards. I'm gonna do it back here, it's easier. Alchemy, you've got the Midas touch right now. Every project you begin turns to gold. Wow. So whatever whatever is going on, you guys are going to be able to figure it out. Your heart needs to heal. You're a powerful healer. Keep up the great work. So I guess whatever the feminine is doing to help the masculine and his volatility is working. And look at there's a mom and a kid again. Um... So it kind of looks like she's helping him out. And she's going to continue to dream big and let go of small thoughts about herself succeeding or you guys both su succeeding. See yourself succeeding, both of you. And you will. Um, also know that you do have the Midas touch. And as you heal your heart, everything else can heal. Uh, just come from that heart-centered place. And I just saw a dragonfly go by. Um, let's just get some more input on the volatility. What's going on with the masculines? Why are they feeling volatile? Why is she need it, needing to anchor this energy for him? Oh, he's needing strength. What's he needing strength for? Oh, to offer his love? Oh, or love himself. He needs the, str the strength to love himself. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and she's believing in him. She's like, you can do this. The message for the feminines as well, please. She's like, go past your comfort zone. It may not be comfortable, but you can do this. We're manifesting this puppy. We can do this. Dream big. And they can't stop thinking about each other. And the heart healing that they want to even do with each other. Maybe the masculines, um, maybe that's passion. Yeah, that's what it is. This is for those of you who haven't been in communication yet. It's like his passion is overcoming him. And he's just feeling like frustrated with himself and super passionate about finally like erupting and doing something. Um, having that Midas touch, making it happen, dreaming big, healing both of your hearts from the pain of this having, having not happened yet. The end of a difficult period, yes. Because you guys keep thinking about each other and it's like torture. And he doesn't want that anymore. He doesn't want you guys. His heart's breaking anymore. He wants to just take action and do something. Oh my gosh. Having your dreams come true, total fulfillment with one another. He knows you guys will be so happy. Have You guys will be this little happy family. So I think he's ready to take action. Interesting. Wow. Two of wands, like, decide, like going from a daydreamy state, knowing you belong somewhere else in this world, and actually taking action on coming together. 
he's going to be offering his heart. It's because she, he knows that she's everything he's ever wanted in a woman, and he wants to give birth to this new life. He wants to expand out and, and go get his feminine. Wow. Okay. I feel like Arch Archangel Michael wants to say something about this. Innocence. Dear God and angels, thank you for helping me see that all of your qualities of pure love and light are reflected within me and all others. Help me embrace my God-given innocence so that I may be at peace. So, oh, and he's holding a little puppy. Just like this guy's got a dog and a puppy. So... Yeah, it's just, we are all innocent. We don't really know. Like, we've made mistakes in the past that we didn't realize we're going to lead down a certain road, and we can't be letting those regrets hold us back. And also realize that you only have the tools that you have to deal with now. You're not going to be a perfect person. You're a work in progress. We all are. So don't beat yourself up if, you're not, if you don't think that you're a perfect person right now. You guys are both doing the best job that you can. Neither of you are perfect, and... Just go forward in that innocence and just offer your heart. Have confidence. Archangel Michael, please lend me your courage and fortitude. Help me realize that I am one with all that is divine, wisdom, strength, love, creativity, abundance, and health. Allow me to feel confident and peaceful about myself in all ways. You guys can do this. You don't have to be perfect. Quit thinking you got to be perfect because you're on the right path. You need to just believe and trust. And just shield yourself through energy work. All right. God's in charge, you guys. God's in charge. So lean on God to get you through this and to give you the strength to share your heart, to love yourself enough to go you know, dive into your emotions with your, with your divine feminine. Don't settle for codependency like you were stuck in. This is not time to settle. This is time for your new love. Do what you can and flirt. Do whatever you, you can to, to extend that flirting energy. Opportunities are waiting for you. This was just stuck in the romance cards. <laughs> So, you don't want to miss this opportunity with the love of your life. It'll be worth waiting for. You just got to be brave enough to just flirt a little. Okay. Have yourselves a beautiful day. Talk to you soon. If you like my videos, please like, subscribe, and share them with your friends. Also, feel free to join me at patreon.com forward slash Amy Satori where I post monthly energy readings, pick a decks, and other goodies for members only, including discounts for readings and being entered to win a free reading at the end of the year. Memberships start as low as $5.55 a month. Sometimes I even put my free collective love readings on Patreon first before uploading them here to YouTube. If you're wanting more information about my show on TuneIn Radio, how to order a personal reading, or other goings-on, you can check the description of my videos for the most up-to-date information.